30 years ago today, the Northland was hit with the famous 1991 Halloween blizzard that dropped nearly 40 inches of snow across our area. The storm brought with it lightning, thunder, 40 mile per hour winds, and still holds the record for the largest single day snowfall in Duluth. Now, three decades later, CBS 3's Abigail Smith takes a look back at the epic storm, and here's from Northlanders who braced the snow firsthand. On October 31st, 1991, costumes were planned, candy bowls were filled, and excitement was in the air. But later that afternoon, the flakes started flying, and soon, Halloween started to look a lot like a white Christmas. This was a winter blizzard in the middle of fall. At that storm, the world stopped for four days. Tim Vellner remembers that day well. At the time, he was a science teacher at Duluth East. The three-day storm canceled school for four days, and he was worried about the pets in his classroom. So Vellner braced the storm and trekked to the school to feed the animals. But on his way back, he says the amount of snow outside was beyond comprehension. I've never seen anything come so unexpected because there weren't there were reports that a storm was coming, but nothing like what we had. And never so soon. I mean, you looked out on November 1st and you realize winter is here and it didn't leave until April. That weather was something longtime Northland meteorologist Dave Anderson says was just as unique as Velna remembers. Anderson was forecasting the day of the storm. Despite the nearly three foot accumulations, Anderson says one of his greatest memories of the day was seeing Northlanders lending a hand in unique ways. A lot of people got home from work that night too, thanks to some volunteers from Park Point with snowmobiles that buzzed around town and took people home by sled as well. So when the snow starts coming, Northlanders start getting uh, ingenious and they come up with ways to get through it all. Anderson says one of the best successes of the blizzard was the ability of local weathercasters to get information out and keep the Northland safe, even with older technology, resulting in the community coming out virtually unscathed. But he adds, even with great forecasting and new technology, Northland weather can always keep you on your toes. Despite the best technology, nature can still throw us a monkey wrench once in a while. And although the snow melts every year, Vellner says still, 30 years later, his mega storm memories will never be forgotten. It's just a unique thing, and those things stick with us. Anderson says, although storms like this are rare, a repeat storm is always a possibility living in the Northland.